and a little tiny whistle with high ho the wind and the rain must make content with his fortune. So the rain is raining every day. Come back. Well, can you send me? Will you pleasure me? Shall I know your answer? Three thousand docket for three months and Antonio Bob. And your answer to that? <coughs> Antonio is a good man. Have you heard any <coughs> imputations to the contrary? No, 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 no. My meaning is saying to you that he is a good man. It's to how you understand me that he is a patient. Yet his means are in supposition. He hath an Augusty bound to. Tripolis, another to the Indies. I understand more of upon the Rialto. He has a third at Mexico, a fourth for England, and other ventures he hath squandered abroad. But ships are but boys, sailors but men. There be land rats, and water rats, water thieves, and land thieves. I mean pirates. Then there is the peril of watchers, wind, and rocks. The man is not standing. Sufficient. Three thousand dollars. I think I may take his body. Be assured you may. I will be assured I may. And that I may be assured, I will bethink me. May I speak with Antonio? If it please you to dine with us. Yes, to small pork. To eat of the habitation which your prophet, the Nazarite, conjured the devil into. I will buy with you, sell with you, walk with you, talk with you, and so far. <coughs> But I will not eat with you, drink with you, nor pray with you. What news upon Rialto? Well, he comes here. It's the Signor Antonio. How like a fawning <coughs> public he looks. I hate him, for he is a Christian. But, no, but after low simplicity, he lends our money gratis and brings down the rate of usage for us here in Venice. If I can have one on the ship, I will pew back. The ancient bride has there and seen a sacred name and he wailed. Even there were merchants supposed to congregate. I mean, my bargain, the my thing done through it. Which he called me. Cursed be my pride if I forget. Shylock, do you hear? Shylock. Albeit an added lend or borrow by taking nor by giving of excess, yet uh, supply the right wants of my friend. I'll break a custom. He yet possessed how much he would. Aye, aye, three thousand dollars. And for three months. For three months? I had forgot. You told me so. Groucho, shall we be beholden to you? Signor Antonio, many a time and oft, in the reality, you have raised me and my money, and my use, and to still 
Have I borne it with a patient shrug? For sufferance is the badge of all our time. You call me misbeliever. Cut so dark and fat upon my Jewish galbardine, and all for the use of that which is mine own. Well then, it now appears you need my help. Go to this. You come to me and you say, Shylock, we would have money. You say so. You, that did void your room upon my beard and put me as you spurn a stranger girl over your threshold. Money is your suit. <laughs> what shall I say to you? Shall I not say, half a dog money? Is it possible a girl can lend 3,000 dockets? Or shall I bend low? And in a bond man keep with basic breath, whispering humbleness say this, her third. You spit on me on Wednesday last. You spurn me on such a day. Another time you call me dog. And for these courtesies, I'll lend you that much money. I always like to call thee so again. Spit on thee again. <laughs> 